Greetings YouTube! Today I want to talk about the Mila 300. Um, well this one is a 1997-98. Um, it started in the early 90s. The 300 series Mila's, which are 312, 314, 315, 316, as we saw them in this country, and 344 as the Mila Platinum. Um, what these machines were, were their mid-size canister option. They had the 200 series as a budget option when this was released, and shortly after the 400 series, which is the same machine, just much larger, um, was released. But this is the Mila that the U.S. knew to grow and love, and it's probably one of the toughest Milas, uh, in my opinion, that's ever made. Now, funny story about this particular example. Um, this is a corn yellow. This was like a diamond dealer exclusive. This is not a very common model. Um, what's even less common about this one is my... I used to work at a different shop in a different state. And then I moved out of state and a few years later this one was traded in with a sticker from the other shop I used to work for. And I actually put this mismatched lid on there. I remember ordering that and putting that on for the customer in a different state and it was traded in and then a co-worker needed a vacuum so we fixed it up for him and then he ended up upgrading and then this became to my possession so this vacuum has been around the world it's had lots of owners um, I'm so excited to own it because um, I originally had one of these I ended up selling so I'm glad to have one back I really like the 300 series machine so I'm going to talk about maneuverability um, first we're going to talk about its storage um, you can see that it parks like a modern Mila. This is now known as the SPD-285, but this is this flippable tool uh, that they've sold forever, where you have this flippable switch to move between an area rug or a low pile carpet and bare floor. Um, and this version has dual suction channels. Some of them just have one channel. There have been a lot of different versions of this. This has the mono wheel that you can take out without tools and clean. But this mono wheel tool has been around for a while. It's actually a Visselbeck tool. Um, that's co-developed by Mila. Um, the locks in place, again, the parking system. Um, the wheel is a chrome telescopic wand. Very, very large. Um, the handle's really funky on these. Um, so these were either sold with U-shaped electrical handles or a electric handle that was sold like this or the straight suction which had this strange double swivel mechanism. Why this is, I don't know. I think one swivel would do. It also swivels at the base of the machine, and I'll explain that in a second. And I say this is one of the toughest Milas because not only is the plastic tough, but the cord rewinder is tough. Shortly after, uh, not shortly after, but a few years after these were made, they came out with the 500 and the 600 series, which uh, were not bad vacuums, but had were no, noted for their cord reels being sensitive. Um, now, what makes this particular one special, being the corn yellow, um, is rather than a rotary dial, we have a switch to adjust the suction. So right here you have, I haven't moved it in a while, but it moves up and down to vary the suction right there. So that's kind of a cool thing. It's very, very quiet. You have a full bag check indicator right there. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it turns on. Um, now what's on board in the tool compartment is here's the one-piece tool. They later went to a two-piece tool and back to a one-piece. Crevice, that's nothing special. The dusting brush is special. Uh, so Mila switched dusting brushes. This has a na actual natural hairs. So these are not synthetic. These are actual like horse hair or some shit like that. Um, or boar's hair. And you see it's oval. So it's bigger than the current Mila tool. Uh, but locks in place. Now what's cool is the current Mila tool fits right in these compartments if you happen to lose this. I have already demonstrated in another video that this blows a zero in a particle counter still. And right here we have a modern, uh, well this is an older generation, but it's a modern generation Mila FJM bag uh, that this machine takes. So it takes the smaller of the Mila bag and they actually, um, the first 200 series machines actually took the lar a larger bag. So then they went to the smaller bag, and then this was released with a smaller bag. 
uh, that would have been, um, when this was first released, this machine would have had the paper bags in it. That's how old this machine is. But again, it still takes a modern HEPA filter. It's kind of cool. Uh, and this example is in excellent condition, of course. Um, you know, it's my collection. Another kind of cool thing is the hose detaches. Well, that's nothing special. But on the older Milas, right here, for storage, because they would often store these in drawers and things like that in Europe, uh, that closes to keep the dust from escaping. So it's a feature that went away um, on some later generations of Milas. Now, maneuverability. This is on a three-caster system, which I have stated many times that I think it casters are always the way to go. So you can see that these casters are still plenty moving around, plenty maneuverable. So that means when we're pulling this around, when we cross and do all this, this still just maneuvers if I don't bump into walls, just like it should. Pull it in. It is very unlikely to roll over. The machine, um, it's not as light as the newer ones. Uh, the newer Milos are much lighter. This has a, a uh, second generation motor in it, so it has a bigger German motor, but still before the Vortex motor, so it is a 100% German machine. Some of these machines have an American motor in them. Um, and the machine will also store in the upright position like I first showed you. So really a classic vacuum um, on there. So I would really, if you see one of these in the store, even if it's in bad condition, I would pick one of these things up. I'd say they're worth fixing. Um, this is one of my favorite vacuums uh, that Mila's ever produced. Um, I really like the Platinum. I'd like to get my hands on a Platinum, but until then, this will do. This is, uh, again, one of my favorite colors that they came in because it's so obnoxious. It so was unlike Mila of the Air. Um, so as always, please like, subscribe, comment below. Um, if you own a 300 series, post a picture of it. Let's see it. And as always, uh, donate to our Patreon if you like our videos.